Welcome to another episode of TCTF, True Crime Truth Finders. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. More details continue to emerge in the missing person's case and untimely death of Savannah Spurlock. We are learning more information in regards to the searches from WHAS 11 of the homes of David Sparks and more. Neighbors say police searched the house after Sparks moved out. This is a different view of the property on Price Court, but it's also an older view from Google Maps. They had also searched his father's former church, according to a former member living nearby. She says the church had a large, deep freezer. It's very interesting to find out that there is a large, deep freezer at a location that David Sparks had a connection to. And not only a connection to, he actually had a connection to this property through his father. Back at Sparks' parents' home, police had searched there before, but found nothing. As you can see, the distance between both properties is only about a mile and a half, and it would take about three minutes by car to get in between. We've been getting a lot of questions as far as how Savannah might have gone undetected for so long, and how if they searched these properties before, Savannah was not located. Now that we're finding out that there was a deep freezer, that there was a connection to with the Sparks, and we're also finding out that he went from one property to the next property, he might have even had people help him move some things, and they might have not even been aware that they were doing so. I'll be curious to see what exactly comes out in the untimely death and disappearance of Savannah Spurlock in the future. We will undoubtedly find out more information as the days, weeks, and months pass. The next hearing and court appearance for David Sparks is tomorrow, Monday, July 15th, 2019 at 9 a.m.